Whoa. Whoa, whoa. Hi there, welcome to today's video. Um, today's video is a very, very exciting one because I'm going to be decluttering and organizing my beauty products, but there's a twist. So I recently learned about this app called Yucca, um, and basically what it does is you can scan the barcode of your products and it'll tell you what ingredients are in them, but also it'll break down whether the ingredient is good or bad for you and give you like a description if it's bad, like why it's bad. This is what it looks like when you open it. Um, these are all products that I've scanned. And so yeah, let's go ahead and get started in my bathroom. open and so I'm gonna go to the scan oops I'm gonna go to the scan button and I'm gonna start scanning some stuff I don't even know where to begin god what is that word <laughs> what you know what? Okay, I'm gonna do a good pile and a bad pile. So, bad pile. And then I'm also gonna have, okay, so this one is unknown. So I'm also gonna have an unknown pile in the bathtub. Y'all are in the bathtub, by the way. Here's a little progress update. So far, this is the bad hazardous, ah, get away pile. And this is the good, yay, rainbow sunshine pile. Um, this is the good pile. And also poor, technically. Um, I'm counting like poor as good because I'm just doing anything that's like not hazardous goes in the good pile. Um, so yeah, on the app you'll see it says like poor and that's just because it has like potentially hazardous um, ingredients, but I just count that as still being in the green. And then over here <laughs> in the bathtub, this is like the um, unknown. The app doesn't know if it's good or not. That was just my little progress update. This is the cabinet. Oh yeah, and then that is all stuff that I need to look up on the computer and um, get a barcode from the computer. And then this is all the stuff that I still have left to scan out of the cabinet. So yeah. my god <laughs> guys this lush product is bad i find that surprising because i thought lush was supposed to be like all natural 
vibes, but no, it contains two hazardous um, ingredients. <laughs> So this is what we're working with. All of that up there is stuff um, that I need to scan from a barcode on the computer because I took the like original packaging off so there's no barcode. Um, and then over here, this is all of the hazardous products, which I'm so sad about some of these. This one I love, it's like an ingrown hair product but it was bad and i'm very sad about that keels um had an interesting read this one also came up bad which i was kind of surprised by because i thought you know keels was a bit more higher end of a brand but um Honestly, I've kind of realized that even if a product is like marketed as higher end, it, I mean, can still easily end up in this pile, which is upsetting because it's like, why are you paying more money for it then? Like you expect if it's more expensive for it to be higher quality, but that is not always the case. And down here, this is all of the good products. I was honestly kind of surprised by um, some of these too. Dove, a very inexpensive brand, was in this pile, which I was very impressed by. This moisturizer, I was so glad that it ended up in the good pile because I love it so much. And I feel like moisturizers, you really want to get a good one, like a not hazardous one, because, I mean, this, you know, you leave it on your skin and it, like, eventually soaks in. Okay, so next I think I'm going to do my drawer, like my kind of like main drawer in my bathroom. This has the stuff that I use the most frequently in it. So it's definitely important that this stuff has clean products. It just looks like this. This is like the top drawer of my cabinets. So yeah, we're just gonna go through this, this one. And then maybe some stuff in here. Another part of this video is I wanna organize this stuff. So let's get going. Also, maybe in this video, maybe, 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 I'll go through my brother's stuff because he has so much stuff in here. I know for a fact that Old Spice um, usually comes up as hazardous. So, sorry to Old Spice fans, um, yeah. Deodorant is definitely one of those things that you want a good one of, um, because... <laughs> All right, so we're going to start up here. Um, these, I would say, are the products that I use, like, the most, the most, because they're out and they're easily accessible. So, let's see how many of them are actually good. Okay, so thankfully only two of my products were bad on that little shelf. And then these were all the good ones. Yay. And then behind there, I don't know if you can see, but like back here, I have um, stuff that I need to scan from the computer, scan the barcode off of the computer. So it's pretty good. Now it's time to do this drawer. Products vary based, I mean, the products vary within the brand. Like, there's a lot of brands that don't consistently have all good products and all bad products. Like, for example, the Kiehl's, I scanned one that was bad, but then I just recently scanned another one that came up as good. 
And so I feel like that's interesting that brands aren't consistent in that way for the most part. I mean, obviously it's all subjective, but yeah. So that's why I feel like it's especially important to have stuff like this app because, you know, it's not like you can buy a brand and say, oh yeah, everything in this brand is good. Good for you. So here is the final drawer. I feel like there's not going to be much stuff to actually scan in here. Um, I think most of it's just kind of like, you know, floss picks. I mean, actually, let's scan the floss pick and see if anything happens. No, nothing happens. Um, that's fine. But I do want a cuter way to like organize these um, floss picks. was all for this drawer like I said um, not much <laughs> scanning necessary but definitely organizing is necessary um, so yeah I'm gonna get on with doing that Okay, so these are all of the um, like unknown products um, that I am going to look up a barcode on my computer and then be able to scan it to get an official yes or no on all of these. Um, so yeah, hopefully there's a lot of good ones, but I guess this is the moment of truth. So basically I ended up working on this for a really, really long time and I'm going to tell you that you don't have to do this if you don't want to. There's an easier way. You can pay for the subscription of Yucca and you can search the items directly on the app and you don't have to do what I'm doing, but if you don't want to pay, then this is the work around it. All right, so these are all of the no's. And then I put all of the yeses into this like little bin, I guess, so that I can easily transport it. So you can't really see it that easily. But I would say it was about an even split, 50-50 of yeses and no's, goods and bads.
you enjoyed the video and um, the transformation at the end. After discovering this app, I feel like I'm way more aware of what's in my products and um, for repurchasing things like in the future, I know what mistakes not to make again now. I'm glad that I did this because I not only was able to declutter, but to declutter with more intention behind it. Um, instead of sort of just getting rid of products, like randomly, I got rid of products with the intention of narrowing down my products to be better for me. And so I would definitely recommend anyone doing this. Um, if you download Yaka, then leave a comment below and let me know. I This is not sponsored, I just really liked this app and I really thought that it could help some people out there. Ultimately, we make decisions about what products we want out there on the market by buying them. We vote with our dollar and so if the more people use this app, the more we will start to narrow down products that are actually good for us and aren't just packaged cute and I feel like it'll start to hold brands more accountable for what they put into our products just by being aware and by being able to be more intentional about what we buy and so I hope that you enjoyed this video I hope that you um, maybe took something from it and I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye!